Hello everyone, here is Radovan from BSS. I am going to prepare a set of videos, couple of videos related to Linux integration to Active Directory domain. And here you can see diagram of our testing environment of our testing lab and uh, also scheme of setup or what is going to happen and uh, what I'm going to do. So you see here Active Directory Domain Controller. So I will install Active Directory Domain Controller to uh, Windows Server. Then you see here Windows Desktop. So I will prepare Windows Desktop and uh, also you see here couple of Linux servers. So I will install couple of Linux servers and uh, I will configure Samba shares on that Linux servers. And what is most important here is that all servers, all Linux servers will be integrated to Active Directory domain and uh, also that Windows desktop will be member of Active Directory domain. So all servers and uh, desktop will be members of Active Directory domain and all users, all Linux, all, all users authenticated to Linux servers will be Active Directory uh, users and also Samba shares, Samba users will be authenticated against Active Directory Domain Controller. So uh, also all shares will be accessible and uh, mountable and mounted on Windows Desktop. In our testing lab, Windows Server will be version uh, 2012, Windows Desktop will be version Windows 10 and uh, we will have a couple of Linux servers which will be mainly Red Hat derivatives like CentOS 7.1 and uh, Scientific Linux 7.1. Uh, so we will use a uh, various method of uh, integration of Linux servers to Active Directory domain like SSSD or uh, WinBind. In the first videos we will uh, install Active Directory domain and uh, services for Unix which are now called Identity Management for Unix. Uh, we will set up some Active Directory domain controller users and uh, uh, we will fill in a uh, Unix attributes in Unix attributes tab in users group and properties. This Unix attributes tab for users in users properties uh, is part of identity management for Linux uh, for Unix installation on uh, Windows server. Then uh, on, on Linux servers we will have some bashers and uh, users which will be authenticated against Active Directory Domain Controller and uh, also these shares will be able to mount on Windows Desktop and uh, we will use WinBind and uh, SSSD method uh, to integrate Linux servers to Active Directory Domain. Uh, we will use uh, various uh, method like winbind or uh, idmap uh, read or idmap ad and uh, uh, sssd using uh, querying active directory domain controller for uh, unix uh, attributes of users uh, which is like we user id group id uh, login shell and home directory but we will also use method where SSSD or uh, daemon will be uh, making uh, users home directories and shell, login shell according to uh, templates and uh, uh, doing user IDs and 
primary group IDs and uh, group IDs according to uh, some uh, algorithm. So please double check or uh, check the uh, description of this video for every related link uh, for every related links uh, to uh, videos to, to links uh, to related videos to this topic to uh, setup of Active Directory domain installation of uh, Unix Identity Management, joining of Windows 10 to Active Directory domain and uh, all Linux integration, Linux uh, to Active Directory integration videos. Uh, so please uh, read the uh, description of this video carefully for uh, links to a uh, bunch of related videos. Thanks for watching guys, please leave questions and comments below, like my video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.